Hello, how are you? I need to do uh, make another video about the Mark of the Beast. I talked about um, Babylon the Great and that we have to come out of her. And I talked a little bit about the Mark of the Beast and also what will happen during the wrath of God and how severe it will be and that nobody will survive who will have will not have the mark of the beast now many understand what the mark of the beast well no many know the place where the bible talks about the mark of the beast i mean some don't even know but it doesn't matter i think most kind of can describe what the mark of the beast is of course many they just really um kind of again speculate what it could be and i have done a lot of videos about it too but i want to just kind of i want you to look again and read revelation 13 that's where you learn about the mark of the beast okay we know that the beast out of the earth which is the united states will cause this mark of the beast but it will cause it because of the first beast which is europe the beast out of the sea because they're closely of course related okay the beast out of the sea the beast out of the the earth are two beasts that are allied that's the nato the military power is the nato okay so the beast out of the earth is the one that causes you to get this mark it's a political system that causes it it's not the man of sin it's not babylon the great it is a political system it's not about bowing down and worshiping it's about you bowing to the system you going along with the system okay what we had in the past three years Okay, you uh, totally following because you're scared or whatever the reason is this political system. The political system could brainwash you or manipulate you to follow it without thinking. Okay, that's what it is. So when we are reading it, course we are knowing that this beast deceive those who dwell on the earth deceive okay we know that because we've been deceived in the past three years so we have been deceived in the past who knows since um twin towers we've been deceived even before that one okay so we've been deceived by this system, this political system, for a long time. And it says there, which he was granted to do in the sight of the beast, telling those who dwell on the earth to make an image to the beast who was wounded by the sword and lived. Sword. Sword is what? War. War. So this beast was wounded by war, which the first beast is, Europe, was wounded by war during the First and Second World War. And because of the beast out of the earth, which is the United States, it could revive again. Actually, the United States protected it during this time when it was vulnerable. Okay, so I hope you understand this system. And so this beast out of the earth wants you now that you will bow down to the image. Now, what image is it? Image could be a picture. Image could be a statue. But it says the chest that this image is talking, right? The image is talking. So it has to be more. It could be then what's talking, what image today is talking. Well, computer, TV, we're already past TV. We're right now in the computer age. So the computer 
was speaking. That's the image. Okay? And we are supposed to be bowing down to that image, to this computer system. We're supposed to accept it totally. And how is that happening today? Okay? How are we bowing down to this computer system? We will, they've been working or they've been, yeah, they, they are pretty soon introducing this digital global digital currency okay which also will contribute to this image having total control okay so it says again should speak okay the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. He, kill, he, he caused both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or their forehead, and that one may buy, not buy or sell except one who has the mark of the name of the beast or the number. See, people always think then 666, number. Okay, what number are they talking about? They are talking about the digital number that everybody is getting. Okay, the digital number of the beast that everybody who is getting. And how you are totally controlled by the beast. The mark is nothing but a digital number that you will get printed, will be printed on your forehead or your 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 hand that's all it is people okay this is how you're going to bow down to the beast and that's what how you are going to be controlled everybody controlled absolutely no wiggle room none it's not going to be the same as the past three years no you don't have the mark you do not exist you cannot buy sell you cannot hold a, um you cannot have a job you cannot even get your social security you will not get your retirement because your retirement may oh i have a retirement you know like a hedge fund or whatever yeah no you don't get it because it is in the computer system because it is in your bank account that is totally digital and it is totally controlled by the government you understand there is no wiggle room and even if you say oh i'm going to be somewhere out there off grid well you better don't own your off-grid property because if you do they will again you either will not own it because you will not own a thing unless you digitally uh, you know in the computer and people don't understand the ram ramification. You know, they're still thinking like this primitive thinking about, oh, there's going to be whatever is Mark and, and, and all these really nonsense things. Then when today we have the technology where they are controlling us absolutely, there is no wiggle Okay, even if somebody will hide somebody, they will know because you will only get so much food. Okay, they will know exactly how much food you have. Somebody buys more food than what they should. Well, somebody gets, atten gets the attention and goes out and checks on you. Oh, what are you doing with all this food? Oh, I'm hiding somebody. Okay. You can't do it. So you need to understand how difficult it will be to survive during the wrath of God. Now, why am I saying wrath of God? Because a lot of people just don't know that either. That this mark will be administered during the wrath. Not before, when you, when, until the rapture happens, there is not going to be... Uh, this surveillance they may introduce the mark but it will not be to the extreme you know where you cannot wiggle out of it 
But once the rapture happened, they will totally control everything. Everything. Okay? And they will have the technology to do so because they already do have it today. I went uh, from Germany to the United States not too long ago. And all they have to do, they don't even look at your passport anymore. They don't look you up in, on, on uh, the computer anymore. All you have to do is look in the camera. And the camera identifies your face and, and, and it goes directly into the system. They have everything in place today for the surveillance that they need. Okay, everything. And since I read it in the Bible, when this is going to happen, okay, I know it is going to be only during the wrath of God. Okay, so people don't have to be afraid. People that will go into the rapture don't have to be afraid because they don't have to deal with it. Okay, I see clearly it is during the wrath. Okay, I will show you that when we go to chapter 14. Okay, chapter 14, you see that the, the rapture has happened because the bride, and I've talked about that in my videos before, not just too long ago, and the, the bride is in heaven. They're on Mount Zion. If you remember that video with Mount Zion, the 144 on Mount Zion, that's the raptured bride. Then after the raptured bride, we see that Babylon falls. That means she is getting destroyed during the wrath of God. Okay? Very simple. Then we see the wrath of God starting. Okay? That she is uh, the, and the smoke of their torment ascends forever and ever. But uh, let's see. It says right here in 9. Then a third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast and his image and receives his mark on his forehead or on his hand, he himself shall also drink of the wine of the wrath of God. Okay, Because the wrath of God has started. This is an introduction to the wrath. So, these people will go through the wrath of God that have the mark of the beast. Yeah, So, they cannot, the mark of the beast cannot be generations before. These people will go. When you have the mark, you will go through it. Okay? And then we see, we continue, we see that then Jesus himself will come with a sickle on what? On the clouds, this is not when everybody is going to see him. So obviously Jesus is up there before everybody sees him. No, this is when he has a sickle and he goes and uh, um, uh, and uh, harvests. So read the whole thing. It ends up with, um, and the winepress was trampled outside the city and the blood came out of the winepress up to the horse's bridle for 1,600 furlongs or stadia sometimes they say stadia but anyways uh, somewhere it tells you actually how long 184 miles okay for, for miles so this is the wrath of god at the end when the armageddon war happens revelation 16 12 through 16 okay so this is when the, the, the wrath of God happens, because this is what it is. And this is when this mark of the beast is mentioned in, 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 in the time span, okay? When will it happen? Right there, during the wrath of God, it's mentioned. It's not mentioned any other time, during the wrath. Then we go to 15, he will continue to describe the wrath. But then in 16, we have a chronological description of the wrath again through the um, bowls, right? The seven bowls. And what happens during the first bowl, my dear uh, uh, listeners? Okay, first bowl. And that's in Revelation 16, 2. So the first went and poured out his bowl upon the earth 
and a foul and loathsome sore came upon the men who had the mark of the beast and those who worshiped the image. Worship again is who will bow to the image and thinks it's the greatest thing in the world or will follow it, will be part of the image. Okay? who will receive a number or the mark, which is representation of the number. Okay, In other words, you will be in this image, in this computer system of the beast. And I hope you understand that. There is nothing, you know, uh, uh, mysterious about it. We need to understand these things keeping the technology we have today in mind. So many people say, oh, we're going to get a chip. They don't need a chip anymore today. Okay. All they need is the, the barcode or not the barcode, but this you are something code, right? That they're using nowadays everywhere. They use this you are something code. Oh, that's what they need. Okay. Barcode is okay too, but they're not, you know, they're going towards something else. So all they need that and they scan it and you you they will see exactly who you are in that computer. Okay? They already know exactly who you are uh, in terms of your health. Because everything you go to the doctor everything is in that computer already. Then they will uh, combine that with your financial system which they already have done too. Okay? They will combine everything. You are in that computer and they know everything. You buy something, you cough, you fart, they know it. Okay? They know it. I'm sorry I have to say that one. But it's the truth. It is the truth. They already are doing that. And when you get that nice number, which again is then you get the mark, that will be the end. And it really has nothing to do with the mark. I think it has a lot to do with you bowing. To the system and you are trusting the system and going along with it again but we're seeing right here that they will get loathsome foul and loathsome source why because maybe because they are going along and they get stuff put in their system like these nice little chemical cocktails right that you know what i'm talking about or whatever other stuff that they will put in your body um, because then they control you and you have no wiggle room out of it. This time you will take all the nonsense they'll give you because you're in the computer and they are controlling and there's total surveillance. But here we see again, when is it during the wrath of God? Read it before that, bowls of the wrath of God on this earth in verse one okay so again here we see it two times when will this um, mark of the beast be administered during the wrath that means we have to be raptured first remember we're seeing in in chapter 14 where is the bride before this wrath starts in heaven Okay, in heaven on Mount Zion. Now, some people, they don't watch all of my videos and then they come and say, oh, but there is no rapture. Well, then go through the wrath. Okay, go through the wrath. If you think you're going to be collect collected by the angels at the end, I have good news for you. Well, I have bad news for you. It's because you either take the mark or you will be killed. You will not even make it to the time when Jesus appears in the sky. You will not even make it there. Okay? You'll not even make it there. Anyways, people, I needed to make this video. This is very, very important. Okay? So people realize how important it is to be ready for the rapture. How important it is. We have to get ready. We cannot be lukewarm. Lukewarm. Most of the people, or lots of the people, lots of the 
Christian, that are called Christian, they're lukewarm. And what did Jesus say in Revelation, the, the, the um, letter to the church of Laodicea? Because they were lukewarm, I will spit you out. Okay, I will spit you out. I hope you know that one. Go to Revelation, I don't know, 3 maybe, about the letter to the seven churches. The last church was the church of Laodicea. That was lukewarm. And Jesus spit her out because she's neither cold nor hot. Lukewarm is not making it into the rapture. Those are the people that say, well, we're Christians. Oh, we are saying hallelujah. We're going to say, oh, yeah. You know, teaching people or even telling people about Jesus. But of course, they're not telling them, keep the commandments, right? They're just telling them, oh, you have faith in Jesus. What did we just see? Follow the commandments and have faith in Jesus. Both of them is important. Following the commandments means that Jesus is Lord and Savior. Okay? Lord and Savior. Don't forget the Lord part. Don't forget the Lord part. Anyways, I'm coming to an end. Be prepared. That's all I can say. Be prepared. And let the Holy Spirit guide you. If the Holy Spirit, if you don't have the Holy Spirit, you will not understand it. Pray, pray that God opens your eyes.